I was working for somebody else, just working a ton of hours and giving all the all the commissions to the company I was working for, and I wasn't thoroughly happy with that, so I decided to go off and start my own business and do the same thing I was doing there, except for, for myself. When my when I was talking to my customers and I told them I think I should start my own business and they said this isn't your business and I realized that I had become the world's greatest employee. I do two things. One part of our company is Morgan Advertising which does promotional products and a lot of the stuff that we do would be like pens, pencils and hats and just all kinds of different stuff. Pretty much anything that has a logo on it. We concentrate a lot in the corporate America with uh, logo wear. So you'll see people with polo shirts or dress shirts and they have their logo on them, stuff like that. And then the Morgan Athletic side of our business is all developed because of schools and sports programs. I have an auto repair shop. I do basic oil changes all the way to engine and transmission replacements. Well, one of the first key steps that you should do is do a business plan. You really should sit down and figure out what exactly it is you're doing. Because we actually started our business without a business plan. And I, I don't really recommend that. It worked out because I had already been in the industry for about 10 years before I started. So I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do. But I still think a business plan really would have been beneficial. That's one step. Then you have to figure out whether, what kind of business you're going to have. You got to figure out what, you know, whether you're going to be a corporation or not. There's a lot of those little things that you actually get a tax accountant to advise you on. It's very helpful. I had to go back and learn things about business administration. I didn't have much problem in actually repairing automobiles. However, I didn't know things like gross profit margin, direct costs, insurance, marketing. When people get good at what they do, that's easy. It was easy for me. But knowing what it takes to actually run a business and dealing with taxes and marketing employees, that takes another skill that I didn't have. The advantages are one of the reasons why I started my own business, and that's tax advantages is huge. That's just one thing. When you work, when you don't work, how much money you want to make, um, when you do your own business, you can really create your own thing. You're in charge. You can create whatever you want to create, and, and people can't tell you no. You can have your own hours. You can specialize. Hire and fire who you like. One time a client came to me like on a Wednesday for a trade show that they were having on Saturday, and they needed like 600 giveaways. First we had to figure out what the product was going to be. So we were able to create something, which was really crazy, and it was just a little burlap sack with some chocolate rocks in it, which actually looked like little rocks, and since a lot of the people, they're like scientists and, and whatnot in there. And so we put in these little uh, rocks into these little bags and put a nice little card on them and tied them up. We did 600 of them in basically one day by the time I got the product. The rush of people in my office where I wasn't prepared for, I was having a slow day, and all of a sudden in my little office, which is much bigger than this room, you know, I had 10 people. I wasn't expecting that. Pretty much anything that has a logo on it, and on the sports side, on the athletic side, we do uniforms, and you have to think, what, there's baseball, uh, soccer, lacrosse, football, basketball, I mean, there's just all these different sports. So we do all the uniforms um, we can do for those guys, all the equipment that they do, um, T-shirts, sweatshirts, pretty much anything you see an athlete wearing, we can do. We do a lot of brakes. Brakes are very common. We do a lot of uh, timing belt, water pump replacements. We do a lot of electrical work. Uh, a lot of cars these days have a little thing called a check engine light or service engine soon light, and that can come on for a couple hundred reasons on every car. And we have to diagnose that and repair what's going on there making the designs parts on the computer so we use like um, Illustrator and Photoshop and stuff like that to create the stuff and then once we've done that and my business partner is a design person and she does most of that work 
and then we take that stuff and we have different processes. One of the processes is um, film transfer, which comes on rolls, and you cut out the design that you want, weed out all the excess stuff, and then it goes on with what's called a heat press, which is um, monitored by how much pressure goes on it and how much temperature goes on. A silk screen is another process that we use, which is where you burn a screen and then you uh, put the ink directly on the garment through a, through a screen process. Most people are familiar with that. That's probably the most familiar one. There's a new one called Direct-to-Garment, which is where you put your shirt on. Basically what it looks like is you're going into a regular printer. So it's like an inkjet type process. It's really cool. Instead of like silk screen where you can only put one color on at a time, an inkjet, just like, with, just like printing a piece of paper, you can print all colors. You can complete photo process, which is pretty fun. Now is schools and sports programs. In the corporate world, we target uh, usually middle businesses, not, not really large businesses, so probably 10 to 50 people. The quicker way to get into, in the corporate world, to get into companies is to get into more of your startups or lower, where people don't have uh, relationships already established. My target market is definitely, the, is definitely my own personal database, the customers that I have um, developed over the years. And certainly I'm trying to get new customers and I do that by uh, referrals. You know, the new age is to make sure you have a good website and have people that can find you easily. So in this, in this community, certainly college students who use that media, I try and target them. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm hustling,